now we we'll discuss the assembly part. Distance and displacement. Distance and displacement. A object travels from point A to this direction. Point E. So between these points, point B, point C, point D, and A. So here AB is equal to 4 meters, BC is equal to 5 meters, and C is equal to 7 meters. Here this is BD is equal to 12 meters. Now we calculate the distance between A to E. So we calculate distance is equal to AB plus BC plus CD plus D. That is equal to AB means 4 meter plus BC means 5 meter plus CD means 7 meter plus DE means 12 meters. Okay, total E4 plus 5, 9, 9 plus 7, 16, 16 plus 12, 28 meters. So, the distance between A to E is equal to 28 meters. Now we calculate the displa displacement. Displacement. We know that definition of displacement is equal to the shortest distance between two points. So here the shortest distance between A and E is equal to the strike line comes. Okay, strike line. Now, from here to here, the distance is equal to 50 meters. Then, displacement is equal to A to E. That is equal to 50 meters. In this way, we calculate the distance and the displacement of an object travel in a given We discuss activity E. In activity E, we discuss about drawing displacement vectors. Drawing displacement vectors. Okay. Drawing. Here, an object moves from A to B and also B to C. An object moving from point A to B and B to C. So here, AB plus BC is the distance traveled by the object. Here, AB plus BC is equal to distance traveled by the object. But we want displacement vector. Right? We want displacement vector. For this figure, how we draw the displacement vector? So, all of you observe carefully from displacement vector is always a straight line. Displacement vector is always a straight line. So, here A to C this line tells us the displacement vector of object. So, we denoted displacement vector as 
is the upon the arrow mark. Here the arrow mark is as the direction of the moment of the object. Here the arrow mark is as the object moment direction. Okay, so in this figure, displacement vector is equal to AC bar. Okay, we we'll discuss another one. There is a curve. Here, some points A, B, C, D, and E. An object move in a given time from A to B, B to C, C to D, and D to E. So, these all are added. When we add all these, A B plus, B C plus, C D plus, P is, then we get the distance of the object. But here we want the displacement vector. And also the displacement vector is a straight line, straight path traveled by the object. So how we draw the displacement vector of this object? So we can draw the displacement vector as a straight line from the initial point to final point. Here A is initial point and E is final point. So A E bar is the displacement vector of the object. Okay, here A E bar is the displacement vector of the object. Okay, here <coughs> We take another example. We take another example. Here also some points A, B, C, D, and E. In this way, so the object travel A to B, B to C, C to D, and D to so, when we add all these distances, all these length of the path, we calculate the distance. But here we want to displacement vector. So, we know that displacement is the shortest distance traveled by the object in a straight path. So, we join the from the final point to E. In a straight forward. So when we join A and E, the direction of the object is A to E. Here also A E bar is the displacement vector of an object. Now, this is how to calculate average speed and average velocity of the train. In this paper, a train named Godavari Express starts at 5 pm from Vishakapatnam and reaches Hyderabad at 5 am. The next day, as shown in the video. So, So here 
The same way, A to turn, A to runs, from A to B only in this direction. And also, yes, we also stay straight to forward. According to this one,
equals to SA units is equals to meters and um, time units is equal to seconds. So average speed units is equals to meter per second. And also average velocity. Huh? We, all, we also see the how to calculate the average velocity. Average velocity is equal to displacement total displacement by time taken. Total displacement by time taken. Here also the units are meter per second. But here for observe that average speed, average velocity, when we calculate. There is a difference in the answer. In fast average speed, we get 60 km per hour. In second, average velocity, we got the answer 30 km per hour. Why this difference comes? Because of average speed means total distance. That has a long length, long path. But average velocity means only displacement. Displacement means it is a direction. It is a straight path. So the difference between average speed and average velocity. When the average speed and average velocity is same, when the object moves in straight forward, the Average speed and average velocity is same. The object moves straight forward. The average speed and the average velocity is also same. What is the difference between average speed and the average velocity? Average speed have only magnitude, but average velocity have both magnitude and direction also. In the problem we solve, there is a direction. The object moves in opposite to west. Okay. After that, we discuss the topic speed. Speed and velocity. Speed means the initial distance traveled by an object is called initial speed. The initial distance traveled by the object in a given time is called speed. Speed is a scalar. Speed is a scalar. Speed is denoted with the letter V. You know that distance is denoted with the letter small l and Time is denoted with the letter T. Okay, so speed is equal to speed is equal to distance by time. Here speed means V. V is equal to S by T. So the SI unit of speed is equal to meter per second. Meter per second. Okay, but here there is no direction but velocity after that velocity the straight path the straight path the shortest displacement the shortest displacement in a given time is called the displacement the displacement in a of the displacement of an object in a given time is called is called velocity. Velocity is also denoted with the letter V. Velocity is also denoted with the letter V. But here velocity is equals to displacement by time taken. Displacement by time taken. Here displacement also the unit SI unit is equals to meter and time displacement is denoted with the letter S time is denoted with the letter T so velocity is equals to 
velocity v is equal to s by t so the si units of velocity is equal to meter per second because the si unit of displacement is meter and the si unit of time sorry and the unit of time is equal to second so velocity si unit is equal to meter per second what is the difference between the speed and velocity what is the difference speed have only magnitude but velocity have magnitude and direction also velocity have magnitude and direction also so this is a very important question write the differences of speed and velocity so this is a very very important question so i'll have to try to answer the question to get difference of speed and velocity speed and velocity okay so for example i give a problem a car is moving and it road it moves 15 meters per 1 second it moves 15 meter per second find how what is the speed and what is the velocity of that car what is the speed and what is the velocity of that car so when we calculate according to the formula of speed here the distance is equal to distance is equal to 15 meter time is equal to 1 second so speed is equal to total distance by time so 15 meter per 15 meter by 1 second that is equal to 15 meter per second is the speed but the car moves east to west east to west so when we calculate the velocity when we calculate the velocity then velocity is equal to displacement by time taken displacement by time taken here the car moves in a straight forward so into east to west so the velocity is equal to displacement by time that means 15 meter per 15 meter by second is to towards east to west is the velocity what is the difference in both the speed and velocity in speed we tell is only the magnitude that means 15 meter per second in velocity we also says that 15 meter per second at towards east to west towards is to to yes. okay so now we discuss some of the think and discuss questions okay in our textbook one question what is the displacement of the body if it returns to the same point from where it is started give an example from daily life what is the meaning of this question the displacement of the body if it is the same place for example a student goes to school from house and also comes home from the school what is the displacement of this student the displacement of that student is zero so in the same way wheels of the vehicle wheels of the vehicle when they rotate one round they rotate round one round then also the displacement is zero okay so an object move from one place to a final point and also returns come to the final point first 
essential point then the displacement of the object is zero but the distance is equals to two two for example the distance between house to school is equal to two kilometers then what is the distance the distance is equals to two kilometers plus two kilometers four kilometers that is the distance but the displacement is zero okay so here a object the starting point to ending point and ending point to starting point when it comes then the displacement is zero okay another question when do the distance and the magnitude of displacement become equal when do the distance and magnitude of displacement become equal when your body is moving in a straight path without any deviation then the magnitude of displacement and the distance is equal so when your body is moving straight path then the magnitude and the, the distance and the displacement is equal another question what is the average speed of the car if it covers to 200 kilometers in hour in 5 hours what is the average speed of the car if it covers 200 kilometers in 5 hours so here 200 kilometer is the distance Time is equals five hours. What is the uh, average speed of this uh, formula? Average speed is equals to total distance by time. Total distance here how much? Two hundred kilometers. Time taken is equal to five hours. So two hundred kilometers by five hours. Then we get forty kilometer per hour. So The average speed of the car is equal to forty kilometer per hour. Okay. When does the average velocity becomes to zero? When does the average velocity becomes to zero? The average velocity becomes to zero when the object is moved in a straight forward and it also travel from first point to final point. And also final point to first point, then the displacement is zero, and the average velocity is also zero. Okay, this is the another question. Okay, and in uh, another question, a man used his car. The initial and final odometer readings are. Four thousand eight hundred forty-nine and five thousand five hundred forty-nine, respectively. The journey time is twenty-five hours. What is the average speed during the journey time? Here we saw we saw that. So the initial and the final odometer readings is equal to initial is four thousand eight hundred forty-nine, final is five thousand five hundred forty-nine. When we subtract five thousand five hundred forty nine to four thousand eight hundred forty nine, and also which comes the value we divide the time we divide with the time. So then we get the average speed of the car. Average speed of the car that is twenty eight kilometer per hour. Okay. Next another question. Very often you must have seen traffic police stopping motorists or scooter drivers who drive fast and find them. Does find or speeding depend on average speed or instantaneous speed? Explain it. Very often you must have seen traffic police stopping motorists or scooter drivers who drive fast and find them. 
this point for speeding depend on average speed or instantaneous speed here that depends on the instantaneous speed that depends on the instantaneous speed okay 